Okay, S2, this is your work now after we've been looking at the trenches. We're now going to look at the Christmas truce of 1914. Now, this links to what we've learned already about conditions in the trenches, what life was like in the trenches, and you should have all made either a shoebox trench or sketched your own copy of a trench. Now, the Christmas truce of 1914. The Christmas truce of 1914, which you'll find out about, is all about the British and German troops stop fighting against each other and have what's known as a Christmas truce. We'll look at exactly what the word truce means in a moment, but effectively both sides came together. So this is just a picture of the Christmas truce here. This is an image from an advert that you'll be watching in a moment as well. And this is a painting here of the Christmas truce as well. Now, before we go any further, a histo word for today. What does the word truce actually mean? So if you want to copy this into your jotter, underneath your heading Christmas truce 1914, so the word truce, what that actually means, is it's an agreement between enemies or opponents to stop fighting or arguing for a certain time. Now the aim of this lesson is to learn about the Christmas truce of 1914. So by the end of the lesson, our two aims are this. Firstly, to describe the events of the Christmas truce of 1914. So what actually happened, what took place. And our second aim for today is to analyse how soldiers involved in the Christmas truce would have actually felt. Now a warmer activity. This is helping you, you'll see with our first aim at the site today to describe the events of the Christmas Truce of 1914. If you could watch the following video, if you click on the word video, it's hyperlinked to take you to the video that you need to watch, which is an advert from Sainsbury's about the Christmas Truce, and look at the picture below. What I want you to think about and to note down your jotter is, what can you see happening in this picture? Where is it, do you think? Who's in the picture? Why do you think it's happening? What can you infer, what can you guess from the details of the picture? What's going on, what's happening? And what questions could you ask to learn more about this picture? So we want to pause the PowerPoint and complete this one-more activity. Now, just a recap of what we could already... In August 1914, the First World War had begun. It was one of the worst wars in history. When it ended in 1914, it's sometimes known as the Great War or the War to End All Wars. Now, during the First World War, as we know already, men, British men, fought on the Western Front in France in trenches that stretch over a thousand miles from the English Channel down to the Swiss border and the land between both sets of trenches was known as no man's land. Now to help you to describe the events of the Christmas of 1914 you have a document which is attached in the files folder as well. What I'd like you to do is to read the document which is titled Christmas Truce Reading Task and answer the questions in full sentences. So again if you want to pause the PowerPoint here, this should probably take you about 15-20 minutes to do, so we pause the PowerPoint here and answer those questions. Okay, so we should now be able to describe the events of the Christmas Truce of 1914, so our second aim for today is to analyse how soldiers involved in the Christmas Truce would have felt. So to help you to analyse how soldiers involved in the Christmas Truce would have felt, what you need to try and do here is match the statements with the reasons for the truce. So you have five statements on the left hand side, you need to match them with the reasons for the truce. And this will help you to think about how soldiers might have felt. So again, if you pause the PowerPoint, this should take you about 15 minutes to do as well. Okay, and our final activity for today is for you to create a storyboard to tell the story of the Christmas truce. So bring together everything that you've learned about the Christmas truce. So the previous two activities should probably have lasted around about a lesson. This activity here should last year in a bit of lesson as well. Now remember to think about what happened during the Christmas truce, what you've learned through this lesson. Remember to make it look like it happened at Christmas and also think about how the soldiers would have felt when you designed your storyboard. Now your storyboard can be a six or an eight box storyboard. Try and use a full page in your jotter for this. You're looking to include pictures and words, descriptions obviously in each box and colour as well if you can. 